Hi, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to use increment and decrement operators. I'll also be teaching you how to use while and do while loops. Loops are useful because sometimes that you want to run uh, or make multiple syntax but they are the same thing. Instead of doing that you can use loop. You can, make, you can type it once and you tell the loop how many times you want to run that same syntax and it's pretty neat and it saves you time from typing the same syntax over and over again but first we're going to learn how to use increment and decrement operators because increment operators or decrement operators will be useful in the while loop and it's really necessary to add it in the while loop so let's make it uh, a variable so we can demonstrate those operators Let's say that I want to add 1 and 7. Instead of typing 7 plus 1, we can simply type plus plus a. And remember, this a is from my variable, and 7 is a value for a. So you just add plus plus a, which is equivalent to 7 plus 1, and it'll be a. And this right here is called pre-increment operator. Now let's output that line so the user can see that. Save. All right, the answer will be A. And that's right. Adding one and then it'll be A. All right, let's say I want to do this in this kind of way. And this right here is called post increment. Post mean it'll show it'll show the uh, variable value, and after that it will just it it will increment one like plus one. I'll show you what I mean by showing the display first. Like if I did here a plus plus, I sh it says plus one, but see what happens though. Remember this is seven. Alright, this is 7. The reason why it's still 7 is because the program reads from left to right. If we see A's first, if we see A first, I mean, then it'll display the value for 7 first. And after it display, then it'll increment it to A. And I'll be showing you with another one. A plus, okay. Save. And this right here should be eight. Seven. In an increment and there'll be eight. Post this right here, we use this mostly for the while loop and do while loops. And same for for loop, and which I'll be teaching you guys about that next tutorial. Alright, now let's do minus minus a meaning uh, pre decrement uh, operator I should get 6 and then 6 again over here six, six. All right. let's say that we're going to do a post decrement operator then it should be say yeah it should be saying Six, no, not six. Seven, then six. Remember, whatever display first, it'll be decrementing after it got display, and it'll be shown over here. All right, let's Java see that. Java seven to six. All right, we're done with uh, increment and decrement operators. Now let's do while loops. All right, first off, we need a a variable for our while loop so it knows when to stop and start so we're going to start at the zero zero is like one remember we count zero as one in reality and I'll show you what I mean by that 
can be I. Let's run it five times. Less than five. All right, what I did here, uh, this right here can go all the way up to four. But in reality, it has five integers. Remember, we count it to zero. It'll be zero, one, two, three, four, and it'll stop there. But if we count it, it'll be like one, two, three, four, five. So that's what I mean by all that. And now let's run that code. Or not that. Let's run inside the code. Make sure you have your curly brace braces, like one here and here. Whatever, whatever you type here it will be run. Yeah, it will be running five times. Let's have I. So it will display the number. And make sure you have your uh, same variable from here. Make sure you increment it. So like the reason why we have this because once it gets done with the code, like you know the loop starts at zero. I uh, once it gets done with the code, it will increment it to the next level, which will be one. And it goes all the way up to four and then stop. If you don't have that, then your program will be running infinite amount of zeros that will be displaying. Because right now I'm displaying the numbers only, which will be the numbers. You save that. And Java C it. And drop the tour. Alright. See? We start as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Like I said before, we count it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which is really 5 integers. Alright, let's make it more complicated. Instead of showing numbers, let's ask the users to input a, like the amount of uh, money that the employee made in their jobs. So we're going to use scanner inputs. So let's make a scanner variable. Then let's make an integer pay because we, I know for sure we're going to use over $128. So we're going to use int pay and we use total because we're going to ask the users the amount of money that five employees, remember, we're going to run it five times. We're going to ask the users, oh yeah, make sure, yeah, make sure, we're going to ask the users to input five employees. And make sure you input total of zero because it'll be the uh, accumulator. And you'll be, you'll, yeah, you'll see once I get done with this, really. So let's say employee number pound sign and then you send it with some uh not a semicolon a quotation double quotes and plus one and do an index but if I do index and then it'll, it'll be saying employee number zero remember this right here we don't want that instead of zero let's add one it's one but this won't make sense to the operator or the computer or Java. To to make the yeah, to make this more sensible or I don't know if that was a word. But let's make a parentheses over them. If you're familiar with pindus, then you'll be familiar with this. Whatever goes in parentheses goes first. So basically we're adding one to zero. It'll be saying one, two, three, four, five. Like plus zero plus one equals one, one plus one equals two, etc. Then make sure to complete make it, yeah to make it look like the user is really entering the amount of money. Let's add the dollar sign. All right. Then we use the pay variable and then use a keyboard input variable. Next and now I use the accumulator total plus equals pay remember from the last tutorial this right here really means total equals 
total plus pay. And remember, the total, the old value for this is zero. Once you get done with the first loop, which is zero loop, whoever that user input for the number of pay that the the employee earned, then it will start adding up to this total. Then once you get to the next loop, it will override it. Once you get done with the loop, then it will override the whole sum of the employees. And then you'll get the answer from outputting outside the loop. The reason why we're going to out output it outside the loop is because we don't really want to show the total like five times. Instead, let's do it once. So this right here is a neat feature. So print right here, so we'll make a new line. Right here, yeah, there'll be a new line, will be good. Alright. Job C, job tutorial. Alright, let's add some value to this. 70,000, 5,000, $1. Uh, this is zero dollars. All right, see, you see the total, wait, not the total, the amount the, employee, the five employees earned, and it will calculate the sum for the whole five employees. I would make it better and add another dollar sign here, but I'm here to save time because of YouTube limits. So, all right, well, now let's do the do while loop. It's so similar to a uh, while loop. Instead, in do loop, you just flip this around. Copy and paste this right here. And then delete this and just type in do. Right, so basically, we're telling the computer to do this code. And then we're going to tell it to run it five times. Save that. Java see that. Oh yeah, make sure you close up a semicolon because it's not up here anymore. So clear screen, Java C, no errors, good. All right. All right. You get the each employee's the amount of money they earn, and then we calculate the sum, which is 65,152. Alright, well, this concludes my tutorial over increment and decrement operators, and also while and do while loops. Thanks for watching.